Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we're making this so fabulous heart bunting or garland. It's basically a decoration that you can hang up in a nursery or for Valentine's Day or anywhere that you want just to look a little bit special. It'd be great in like a little girl's bedroom or a boy's bedroom in different colors. It would be awesome in like turquoise and green. Don't You don't have to feel the traditional hearts have to be red or pink like these ones, but this is kind of just more seasonal for Valentine's Day. But it'd be great on a fireplace, nursery, around a crib. It's just like such an easy, quick, and charming decoration. To make the super sweet heart bunting, you will need your yarn. I'm using this natural cotton by Ice Yarns. It is 100 grams, 180 meters and it's a three weight, 100% cotton. You can use acrylic, whatever yarn you would like to use. This calls for a size four knitting needle. I am using a size five millimeter hook. And if you are using a worsted weight or an acrylic, you can just use the hook that goes along with whatever is recommended on your yarn label. So I'm using my five millimeter hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and also a darning needle for later on. And also you will need another color I'm just gonna use this white, same thing, natural cotton from Ice Yarns. There is a link in the description box below, so if you're doing any shopping at Ice Yarn or Amazon, don't forget to click the link down below before you check out. That would help out the yarnery a lot. And this one we're just doing our, for the outer edge. You can also just use any other colors you have of scraps laying around or different colors. They don't even have to be the pinks and reds. So to get started, we're gonna be making our granny square, same as we always do. So get your yarn ready. So we're gonna start by making a slip knot. So I just put the tail over my non-dominant hand, wrap it around two fingers and poke it through and pull it up to make a slip knot. Shrink that down and put it on my hook. Chain three. So just grab your yarn, turn your hook, and bring it through. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're gonna be working in to the very first V we made, our first stitch. So to count your stitches, you do not count what is on your hook, and you don't count this little knot. You count the Vs in between. So there's one, two, and three. Or you can count the sides, there's one, two, and three. So we're gonna go into the first uh, chain stitch that we made, just right on top of that knot. We're just gonna push our hook straight in. A little push your hook in. And now take a minute and get yourself situated. So we have all this on our hook. I wanna lay my tail down along my work. And I wanna be able to poke my finger right underneath my hook so I can hold open that center, like the center of the U shape with my finger and my thumb just to hold it open. And I also have my tail right along my work so I can work over that as I go. So now grab your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing down and drag it through both of those loops to form a ring. I'm still holding it open in the center. Chain three, one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn and go right into where your finger is, so you're right where you're holding your ring open. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So your chain counts as a double crochet in this pattern. So there's one and two double crochets. Really one's a chain, but we're counting it. So we need to do one more double crochet. So wrap your yarn, go into the ring, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our first set of three double crochets for our granny square. Now you can let go of the ring because your stitches are gonna be holding that open. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn. And now we're gonna go right back into that ring to make three more double crochets. So 
So there's our three double crochets and a chain two for our corner, one and two. Now you can just grab your ring and your stitches and just pull them apart. So you get, you kind of pull your ring out from your stitches, you get a lot more space to work around for your next set of three double crochets. And we're just working over our tail so we can cut that off when we're finished. So wrap your yarn and three more double crochets into the ring. One, two, and three. And if I'm working too fast, just pause the video, get caught up, and press play. So there's three sides of our granny square. Chain two for your corner. And if you need to more space, just slide your stitches back, squeeze, like pinch your ring and slide your stitches back. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets. One, two, and three. All into the same center of the ring. All of our stitches start in the same spot. And now to join, we're gonna join in a bit of a different way. And that is with a chain one and a single crochet. So we're gonna count our V's here on this side. So there's one little V down here tucked right in underneath there. So there's one, two, and three. We're just gonna go into the third stitch up, the third chain stitch. We just wanna go into that stitch and we wanna get two loops of that stitch on our hook. So push your hook in to the top of the chain three. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is a single crochet and that just leaves us ended in the center of our corner so we can hide our join as we work along. So chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work into this corner space. We're gonna do two double crochets. One and two. And now wrap your yarn and into this next corner space, we're going to do three double crochets, a chain two and three double crochets. So wrap your yarn and go into this big corner space. One double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets, chain two, one and two. And wrap your yarn, three more double crochets into the same corner space. You could also grab your, your work and your stitches and kind of slide your stitches back to give you more space in that corner so your stitches are laying down nicely beside each other. So three double crochets to finish off that corner. There we go. And now this side here where we joined, I should have told you to put a stitch marker. So right where we did our chain three into that corner space, I'm just gonna put my stitch marker in and that just reminds me when I'm working my way around that I just don't keep going into a spiral. We want to pay attention where we did our join. So we finished our three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. We're gonna do the exact same thing in the next two corners, one and two. So no chaining in between, we're just gonna wrap our yarn and jump straight into the corner space. And your corner is three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets. There's our second corner. Wrap your yarn, and we're gonna do that again in the third corner. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. All into the same corner space. So now we have our stitch marker here. And our stitch marker is just telling us to slow down and hold on, we have to do something. But you can see why we put in our stitch marker. We would just keep going straight across the edge and then wonder why we didn't have a corner way over on this side when really our corner is right there. So that's why we put in that stitch marker. So you can just pop it out now if you like. And into that spot where our stitch marker was, we're going to finish this corner where we started. So we need to do three double crochets into that corner space where our stitch marker was. So there's one and two, and here is three. Like that. And we're gonna join in the same way. So chain one and single crochet to the top of the chain three. 
if you turn your chain a little bit to face you, you can see there's one little V down there. So one, two, and three. So we just want to poke our hook in somewhere into this stitch. We want two loops of that stitch on our hook. So poke your hook in, two strands of that stitch on your hook, wrap your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So there is our single crochet to join, chain three again, one, two, and three, and turn your work. Wrap your yarn and into that same corner space. You want to make sure you have three double crochets on this side and three double crochets on that side. So we want to make sure we're in the middle. Two double crochets because our chain counts as our first stitch. And now we have a space on the side, so that's going to get three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now our corner is, we're not making that into a corner anymore. That's going to be the side of our heart. So that this spot here, this corner space is going to get four double crochets. So wrap your yarn and go in and make four double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four. So this is the tip of our, the pointy bit of our heart. This is the side, and now we're gonna do the big top curves. So wrap your yarn twice. So wrap it once and wrap it twice. So we have two of these loops on our hook or two wraps of yarn on our hook. Go into that side space. Just push your hook into the space. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is a treble crochet and how I remember it is like a triple takeoff. So you wrap your yarn twice, you go in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, so that's one, wrap your yarn and take off two, that's our second, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that's our three takeoffs, so it's a triple takeoff. So that's how I remember my treble crochets. Double is two takeoffs, treble is three takeoffs. So we need to make 12 of these into the very same spot. So wrap your yarn twice and do 10 more treble crochets all into the same side space. And then just count to make sure you have 12. So I just separate them with my finger. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, perfect. Now into this corner, <laughs> which is no longer corner, that's gonna be the valley or the center of the top center of our heart. We're just gonna make a slip stitch. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Turn your hook and just bring it through that loop that you had on your hook. So there's a slip stitch. Now go ahead, we're gonna do 12 more treble crochets into this next side space. So wrap your yarn twice, go into the side space, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, and do that 11 more times for a total of 12 treble crochets. So just pause the video and finish up your treble crochets on this side and I'll meet you back. So just count to make sure you have 12 and then wrap your yarn and into this next corner space. We're gonna turn that into our side. So that's four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn into the side spot, three double crochets. One, two, 
and three. And now into the point or the very tip of our heart, three double crochets into that very last corner space. One, two, and three. We're gonna join in the same way. So chain one and a single crochet to the top of the chain three. So you can just straighten out your chain so you can see it. Mine's all a bit crunched in there. So there's one down here at the bottom, two, and there's three. Or you can count over. So there's one, two, and this one here is three. And you just wanna make sure you keep two loops of that stitch on your hook. So I'm just gonna push my hook in. Two loops, two strands of that stitch on my hook. Grab my yarn and bring it through. Wrap my yarn and take off both loops for a single crochet. Chain one this time around. Turn your work. And now one single crochet into that corner spot, so no wrapping your yarn. And one into each stitch going along the side. Our stitches are these little dimples here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way along. So we're gonna work into these first 10 stitches here. So three double crochets, three double crochets, and four double crochets. We're gonna work into each one of those, making one single crochet, and then we'll change it a little bit when we get to these trebles. So to make a single crochet, just push your hook into that dimple. That gives you two loops of that stitch on your hook, both strands of the V. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So this is my last stitch right there that I'm going to put a single crochet into. And now these are my trebles. So I'm going to start making this part also larger for this round. So wrap your yarn and go into the next stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. We're going to do a half double. So wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. And we'll do that again. Wrap your yarn, go into that stitch grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off all three loops off your hook. So that is a half double crochet. Now we're gonna do a double crochet into the next. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, so that's your double take off. Wrap your yarn again and we're doing that into the next stitch. So we did two half doubles and two doubles and now we're gonna start increasing. So wrap your yarn and into this next stitch, we're gonna make two double crochets. So our first double crochet, wrap your yarn and our second double crochet into the same stitch. So we're adding a stitch, looks just like that. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, two double crochets. So now we're just gonna alternate doing two double crochets into a stitch and then one double crochet into a stitch. So there's our two. The next one just gets one double crochet. Into the next, two double crochets. So one and two, all both into the same stitch. The next is one double crochet. And then we have two stitches left. So wrap your yarn, go into the next stitch, make one double crochet. Wrap your yarn and make one half double crochet into the same stitch. So that just kind of brings the height down a little bit for our heart shape. And into this last stitch, one single crochet. So no wrapping your yarn for the single crochet. And now we're gonna go back into the scene, this big space down below from row two of our granny square. So just no wrapping your yarn, push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it through, turn your hook and bring it through. So that is a slip stitch. And now find your first stitch, which is right there. It's very close to our slip stitch. And 
and we'll make one single crochet so that's no wrapping the yarn. Wrap your yarn for the next stitch. We're going to do a half double. So wrap your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. Wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into the very same stitch. So that's our increase. One double crochet into the next stitch. We're basically doing the exact same thing we did on the first side. We're doing the mirror exact same thing on the other side. So into the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. And then a double crochet on its own. So just one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the stitch after that. One and two. So two double crochets into the same stitch. And then one double crochet on its own. And then two into the same stitch. One and two. And again, pause the video when I get going too fast. And now into the next stitch, one double crochet. And then these last four stitches here of the treble crochets, wrap your yarn and make a double crochet. So that's just one double crochet and another into the next stitch. So two double crochets in a row and wrap your yarn and then two half doubles, one into each stitch. So one into the first stitch, half double crochet and into the last stitch there, half double crochet. Now we're going to single crochet all the way down this side until we reach this tip of our heart. One single crochet into each stitch. Now into this corner, into the space down there, we want to do two single crochets because we started with one, so that's going to be end up with three single crochets for our to the tip of our heart. We're going to slip stitch to that first V right there. That is the little single crochet that we put into the tip of our heart where we started. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, turn your hook to bring it through, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And there is our heart shape finished. Because we worked over this tail in the beginning, we can just cut that off carefully. These curved scissors really help a lot. They're fabulous. And now we're ready to do one row of single crochet for our border. And we want to be working in to the back of our work, so just flip it over. You want this macaroni to be facing up, our dimples. If it's the right way, you don't have dimples, you have these Vs. So we want our, our hearts to lay flat because we're going to be holding them up or they're going to be hanging. So we want to just keep them as flat as we can, which is why we are turning our work. So turn your work for this row and we're just going to be working into what that one of the tops of our hearts. I'm just going to pick this one and I'm just going to go in to this stitch right there. Two loops of that V on my hook loop of my new yarn on my hook. I'm going to bring that through and slip stitch with both to join. Drop my tail. I'm going to work over a little bit so you can just hold it along the top of your work. Chain one and into the next stitch one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way along your heart. So keep going, making one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you when we get to the tip of our heart. So keep working along, getting to the tip of your heart. And remember, into the, our heart, into the tip of our heart, we did three stitches. So just use your little fingers to isolate them and you will see these, the yarn that goes into the space. So there's one, two, and three. So there is one, two and three stitches at the top. We want to put our new corner into the center stitch, which is this stitch right here. So don't worry if it's a bit on the side, it'll all even out. So here's our first one. So there's this one single crochet. And now into the second stitch in the tip of our heart, three single crochets. So there's one, all into the same stitch, two and three. And now one into each stitch, working your way along. So it looks like that. Keep going and I'll meet you when we get to the valley. So make sure you get into this last stitch 
the last dimple before the slip stitch, before the center of our heart. And now when you get to the center of your heart, we're just gonna do one slip stitch. So I'm using some tension. I don't have like a super big loop on my hook. I've kind of pulled it down so it's small and poked it through that nice space we have from below. Brought my yarn just through, turn your hook and bring it through. So there is a little tiny slip stitch. And now turn your heart back up a little bit so you can push your hook into that very first stitch. So you wanna do a single crochet right there. And now one single crochet all the way along until we get to the join. So now to join, I'm just gonna go into this first stitch right there. Just that, here's our V where we joined. I'm not gonna go into that one. I'm gonna go into the one right on top just to pull it over and make it a bit square. So I just push my hook in. I want two loops on my hook. Bring my yarn through and bring my yarn through. So there is my join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So I have my hearts all ready to go, four of each of my colors, so a total of 12. You're welcome to do whatever color combinations or numbers you would like to do for yours, but I thought 12 would be a nice number to start with. So get the color yarn you wanna use for hanging them. I'm just gonna use the same white as I did for the last round of edging, just so it looks like nice and cute and clean hanging up, but you can use any yarn or color that you would like. You can also figure out the order you wanna put yours in. I'm just gonna alternate my colors as I go along. So I'm just gonna leave mine in the same order and just kinda of push them up to the top of my workspace. So make a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with your needle. You don't want any strings hanging from, the, from your garland. Shrink your loop down and chain 16. So there is 16. You can chain any amount you like. This is just enough to make a little loop that you can hang easily onto a little nail or a small knob or something like that. So now make sure your chain's not twisted, not that it totally matters. And we're just gonna push our hook straight into that very first chain that we made, just to make a ring. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it through turn your hook and bring it through. So there is a slip stitch. So now chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So take your first heart and looking at your heart, we're just gonna pick the top of our heart, just the top stitches. And you could just kind of eyeball it. I think this one is the tallest on this side and this one is the tallest over there. So I'm just gonna pick those two stitches as the top of my heart. So I'm just gonna go into that stitch and make a single crochet. So grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. And now we're gonna chain to get across. So I'm gonna chain eight and now into the top of that other curve, the tallest bit of the heart. I'm just going to push my hook in and make another single crochet. So it looks like that so far. Now I'm going to chain 16. sixteen, Because we want to get far enough away for the next heart to start. So it has a little space in between, but it's pretty, and it'll also stretch, it's crochet, but it'll also be nice and close together. So it'll be an obvious heart decoration. So chain 16, and now I'm gonna go into the top of this stitch, uh, the top of this crescent here, the top of this heart, which I think is kind of where I joined. And I'm gonna make a single crochet. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and single crochet into the top of the next crescent part, the tallest stitch. So just kind of lay it out. Of course, you're welcome to count and do it all the exact same if you feel like it. I'm just gonna say that is my tallest stitch, and I'm gonna make a single crochet. So now we have two connected. 
And I'm gonna keep going. So my next one is going to be 16. 16. My next color. And I'm just gonna eyeball the tallest stitch. I'm gonna say it's that guy. Single crochet. Chain eight to get across. Find my tallest stitch. Single crochet to join. Chain 16 to get to my next heart. So I've joined three so far with a nice little tab for hanging on the one side. And they're great so far, I really like it. So now I'm just gonna keep going, but you can also pause now and look at yours and see if you want a bigger, a bigger space in between them or a smaller space in between the, the center part or if that looks good to you. Just give it an eyeball. It's easy enough to add an extra stitch anywhere you feel you need an extra stitch. Just remember to write it down and make it the same for the rest of your garland or bunting. So keep going adding the rest of your hearts and I'll meet you at the end. So I have them all joined up. It goes really quick. It sounds like it's gonna take you for ages, but you're just chaining and single crocheting and wow, you really get far like so quickly. So that is all attached and ready. I've done my last single crochet. Now we're just gonna do the exact chain that we started with on the other side. So we're gonna do a chain 24. So to start, just chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And grab a stitch marker. So onto this, the chain just underneath your hook, just put in a stitch marker. That just saves us from counting later. No big deal. And now chain 16. 16. So right where we have our stitch marker, we're gonna put our hook in, but we wanna make sure there's two loops on our hook. So just go in on the other side making sure there's two loops of that stitch on your hook and make a little slip stitch. So bring your yarn through, turn your hook and bring your yarn through. Chain one to secure your yarn. And now cut your yarn. You wanna leave a long enough tail that you can sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. You can take your stitch marker out. And now we just have to sew in our ends. Valentine's Day heart garland. It's so cute. And how easy was that? The tricky part is only making your hearts. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. We upload new videos every week, do a live chat on Fridays and a podcast on Wednesdays. We're also on Facebook, The Secret Yarnery, and Instagram, at Secret Yarnery. We also have a Facebook group where you can upload your photos, which is The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Love to have you join me over there. I'd love to see your work and your colors. I find it so exciting to see what you're up to. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and stay hooked. Mm -hmm.